I'm going to show you guys how to flatten watercolor today. You're going to need the biggest brush you can find. Um, if you don't have as massive broom, you can get. This should be good enough. It's like one and a half. You need a bucket of fresh water. You'll need clean hands because you're going to be touching your art. And because you need clean hands. Um, so I have these two pieces. This one, I took off the gum paper yesterday, but as you can see, it's not flat still. It still warps a bit. And uh, this one is on cold pressed paper, and I hadn't flattened it before. So this is a piece of board from Home Depot. It's super cheap. It's like four bucks. And they can cut it for you to whatever size. You're going to need towels that are as big as your art piece weight, anything heavy and flat, so your library. I have this so I can flatten, I'll show you. So I'll start with this one. On your flat board, make sure it's nice and clean. You're gonna lay down some your towels that are clean. Towels are for absorbing the water that falls off the edges of your piece of paper, or your art. So we're gonna be working on the back of it all you're going to do is get your brush nice and wet, tap it off a little bit, and then you're going to paint the back of your piece with water. Just go gently off the edges so that whatever water comes off will absorb in here. And you don't want too, too much, but you don't want too, too little because you do need a good amount of water still, the paper, so it can be become like stretchable again. So I'm going to do this quite a bit. And I would say start in the middle to go outwards. You don't want to go in because then the water is going to get underneath your paper, possibly getting your painting. And then you'll kind of start feeling your paper already warp. I can feel it warp this way. Um, I can touch it to see how wet it is pretty wet, you'll see it glistening in the light, how much water there is. You need just uh, probably artist tape, something not too sticky, because we're going to tape the front of it and you don't want it to rip your paper. Step two, with your clean hands, you're going to take your painting and long ways you're going to stretch it first. Now be very gentle and take your time. So you're going to gently pull and now you're just pulling. Don't rip and you can start feeling it straighten out a bit. Just go and I do this a couple rounds just because I'm extra thorough. And now, once you do that a couple times to until you feel it's pretty, like, you got all the kinks out, then you move it this way and you do it the other way. And if it's not, if you don't feel like it's moving enough, maybe your paper didn't get enough water in it to start stretching. So, go back to step one and put more water. Okay, so this one's done. And I want both of them on one board so that it can flatten it all at once. Tape long ways first. Before you just smack it down with your clean hands, smooth it out so you know it's going to lay flat with no bubbles. Smooth it. Smooth it. Now that we have it nice and flat, it's okay if you see it start bubbling up. All the books on top of it is going to make it perfect. A good tip is to, before you start, plan where you want to keep the paintings because now it's very hard to move. But I know I can take the books off. But just a pro tip. It's really heavy and I can't slide this. much stuff on top of it and why am I using this because I think one time I just started putting different sized books over them 
and then like there was a crease in one of the paintings. So I just want to put it all under one flat surface. Paper in a box. Ooh, with treasure. All right. Well, there you have it. This is how I flatten my watercolors. Um, it works very well. Oh yeah, and I'll show you how they come out. flat it is now before it was warped and that's what we want.